It's been almost a week since Martinique health officials declared a dengue fever epidemic. Now the health ministry here wants more public involvement to help eradicate the breeding sites of the mosquito which spreads the virus to prevent St. Lucia from suffering a similar fate. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs would like to again implore the St. Lucian public to join us in the fight against the Aedes aegypti mosquito. This request comes in light of recent reports coming out of our next door neighbor, Martinique, where a total of 690 cases of dengue fever have been confirmed and 3,000 have been suspected. Like Martinique and the rest of the Caribbean, dengue fever is endemic to St. Lucia. Thus, it is imperative that we utilize all possible measures to significantly reduce the mosquito population and to prevent an outbreak of dengue fever in country. The culprits behind dengue fever and other similar diseases is the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Since the insect fever's water-holding vessels, eliminating such containers is paramount in the fight against dengue. Intensifying mosquito control strategies are therefore of utmost importance. This is why it is necessary to get citizens actively involved in mosquito control. For prevention in the home, householders are called on to reduce the number of key mosquito breeding sites. We, the Ministry of Health, are calling on individuals, families and communities to join us in the battle to reduce mosquito breeding sites in and around the home. Health officials are pleading with residents who collect and store water to ensure containers are sealed. Long-sleeved clothing can minimize the chances of being bitten by the disease-carrying mosquito. To discourage the proliferation of mosquitoes in your yard, all householders are encouraged to at least once a week ensure that containers that can accumulate water are discarded or emptied, scrubbed and turned over. In situations where it is necessary to store water, we ask that water holding containers are tightly covered to prevent mosquitoes from accessing them. The ministry would like to urge residents to practice personal protection to keep themselves safe from mosquito bites by wearing light colored clothing, wearing long sleeve shirts and pants, and using repellents containing at least 30% DEET, especially when doing outdoor activities. Although many individuals who contract dengue are asymptomatic or suffer mild illness, the disease can result in occasional severe cases and even death. Therefore, People with severe symptoms, including persistent vomiting, rapid breathing, bleeding gums or nose, blood in vomit or stool, and dehydration, should seek care right away. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.